Hi Taurus, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and wish you all a very very happy Valentine's Day. Uh, Taurus, I promised you a bonus read for this day and here it is. We're going to tap into your partner's energy and see how they're really feeling about you and what they would say if they could. Uh, whether you guys are sitting uh, in the same house or maybe you're miles or countries apart, what's really going on below the surface, things that they wish they could tell you. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides bless this reading for Taurus and send the messages from their person who really loves them. Thank you. So Taurus, let's begin. We're going to do a small three card spread, which we'll clarify and then do some dialogue messages as well. But before that, um, today I didn't pull out an angel blessing card for you, Taurus. I pulled it out myself for all of you out there at the Omkara family from the universe, all the angels and me here at Omkara wishing you a very, very happy Valentine's Day. Wish you lots of love, lots of happiness always. So let's begin. Taurus. Part of my deck, I have the seven of pentacles. Somebody once sees you uh, as a person they want to invest in, I think, uh, Taurus. Oh my God, devil, nine of pentacles and the high priestess. Taurus, somebody seems to be obsessed with you. Maybe they're watching you as uh, very beautiful and abundant and um, can grow anything you want, actually. And um, you seem to be in a very good space right now as the, with the Nine of Pentacles energy. But right now, I don't think uh, you guys have really said anything to each other. There seems to be a little silence here, but there is an obsession in a very healthy, good way, seeing somebody who is dynamic and beautiful and hot and sexy and everything else. Let's just take a few clarifiers for this. Why is the devil here, spirit? Devil. Somebody wants to get you back in their life and they want to have a happily ever after with you, Taurus. Who's the spirit back? Is this an old person? Whoever this is, is a very honest person, very clear cut, very honest, very good with their communication and they want to go back to a feeling, I think, of having this happily ever after where you guys can grow and have uh, happiness for the future. Ten of Pentacles is like happily ever after. So this person is wanting to communicate to you to say, hey, I need you back in my life because all I can think about is of when you will come to me so we can begin our life together. Nine of Pentacles. This person really loves you, my God, Taurus. They adore you. They see you as uh, the one, the one who is made for them. To have an Ace of Cups, center of my spread, that's excellent. Yes, they don't want to worry about you anymore. They, I think they spend, they've been spending a lot of time uh, worrying and thinking and waiting for you. And they also don't ever want to see you in that way. They never want to see a tear in your eye ever again. They want to keep you happy. They want to keep you satisfied. They want to keep you abundant. And they really, really do love you. They, they don't like this. They don't like the fact that you cry or they cry for you or you guys are not together. They just want to wrap you up and bring you back into their arms and they want, they're very obsessed about having a lifetime with you. High Priestess. There is some kind of a jugg juggling act going on, I think, uh, Taurus, right now. Maybe you guys are not really talking to each other, still going back and forth between something, either trying to end something before you guys can come together or wondering whether this will ever work out because you guys are not talking to each other. But I do see the card of investment here. Let's, let me take one more card. What's the High Priestess spirit? 
Yes, this person, whoever this person is, uh, Taurus, they want you to make a decision. They don't like to be going back and forth in their mind, wondering, is it over? Are we together or are we not? They want you to make a decision, which will be 100%. Are you interested in investing in me or not? Or are you going to always leave me out abandoned and uh, neglected? Uh, they they think you are their wish fulfillment here, uh, Taurus, whoever this person is. Maybe it's a secret admirer, I don't know. Let's take a card for uh, the Seven of Pentacles. Look at this person trying to manifest you in their life. They really want to invest with you, uh, Taurus. Please keep a watch out. Maybe this person you don't even know, but they are waiting for their soulmate to come back into their life. This person is really praying hard, manifesting you. So what is this return card? That's the only thing that I'm a little confused with, Spirit. What's this return card? Maybe earlier they tried their luck and Taurus, you were a bit defensive or you refused them in the past. So, but don't, even if you refuse somebody, Taurus, please know this person is still very, very, very obsessed with you. They are waiting that one day you will return back to them. They are very clear in their mind as to who they really love, who they really want. And um, yes, they're manifesting a, a beautiful connection and they want to have victory with you, Taurus. So let's see, let's take messages from their heart now. Messages from Taurus's person spirit. They could say something to them. I'm afraid of losing you. I have unresolved feelings that I need to work through. And one more. Do you think about me? Yes, this uh, whoever your person is, Taurus, heavily thinks about you all the time and now they're wondering that uh, do you also feel the same way about them they they are obsessing they are thinking about you 24 7 they're praying they are uh, manifesting you they are, want to invest with you they love you and they are they just wonder whether you feel the same way about them so let's see if the divine masculine in this equation had to say something to their feminine what that would be I have a hard time focusing on you when I'm trying to build an empire. I think that's a lie. This is a pretense. One more. I'm not sure if you love me for me or who you think I am. Yes, they are trying to pretend that, oh, you know, I'm trying to build an empire. I have no time. Basically, this masculine is trying to pretend because they don't know whether their feminine really loves them for them or who they have to make themselves for this feminine to fall in love with them. They say, I'm not sure whether you love me for me or who you think I am. So I have a masculine, I think, who's obsessed but not sure of how the feminine truly feels about them. Let's see now how the feminine feels about uh, the masculine here. Feminine. One more. First card says, I realize that you did not make me feel bad about myself. I did that. The feminine is realizing that, hey, this masculine wasn't that bad. I'm the one who's always been uh, unsure or not given to the connection or whatever. So she's this my feminine saying, I realize that you did not make me feel bad about myself. I did that to myself. I wish you would tell me how you really feel so I don't have to get readings on you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's take one true confession as well. One or two. Let's see what comes out. True confessions today, Spirit. By Taurus or that person. Oops, too many. But let's take them. I can't stop thinking about the times we once shared. Like I said, you guys could have met, you guys could have been together till one person became a little guarded and now the other one is wishing and hoping to get their partner back. Manifesting myself so I can be good enough to win you back. 
and that's why this person is busy trying to create that empire to impress their person right i may not be good enough for you you seem to have high standards again that insecurity is there of am i good enough for my person or not so yes the love is there whoever this person is taurus if you're the feminine watching this whoever this person is is a bit in, unsure insecure whether you think that they're good enough for you but they really truly do love you they're obsessed about you they think the world of you and they just kind of feel not sure of how you feel about them they are praying they are manifesting they do want to have a happily ever after with you okay or you can flip the energy taurus you know the way tarot works right so if this could be you or this could be you thinking about your partner in this way so that's all i have for you taurus Enjoy your day, love and light. I'll see you soon. Namaste.